Good morning. I welcome you this morning. Uh, my name is Pastor Lori Kohansky, and I'm the assistant to the Bishop for Faith Formation in the Upstate New York Synod. It is a glorious Sunday morning here in my backyard in Albany, New York. So take a few deep breaths to center yourself wherever you are this morning, wherever you find yourself on this morning. For this is the day that the Lord has made and we take care to rejoice and be glad in it. When I was looking at my Bible this morning, script, flipping through, I'm, I'm gonna be focusing on Acts for this Lectio Divina, which is what we do on Sunday mornings. We take turns leading in this Lectio Divina and using um, some of the lectionary texts. This morning I'm gonna be using Acts, but as I was flipping through um, my old tattered Bible that doesn't even have a cover anymore, um, I found a feather. Uh, so as I center us this morning as we begin, I am reminded um, every time I see a feather of Hildegard of Bingen's, um, her, her quote and um, that, that, that has carried through the ages of, of being like a feather on the breath of God. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so as we begin, I, I'd like you to imagine as you hear these birds covered with feathers in my backyard going about their business to begin with that sense and that intention of, of letting God carry you through this space and time that we're sitting together with scripture. For these next few minutes, I encourage you to find that posture that allows you to rest and to trust and to listen as we do this sacred listening. I will be using the text this morning that's appointed from the book of Acts. Uh, I will read it through three different times and each time I hope you sink deeper into the text trying to turn off the analytical mind and to notice what shimmers here and all around. Uh, a message for you to carry in your pocket all day long. And so in that spirit of being a feather on the breath of God, we, we begin with this sense of being awake and awake, awake <laughs> and awaiting. Uh, so trying to sit with your feet on the floor, center yourself, ground yourself wherever you are, uh, open your hands to receive and to await. I encourage you to take some, some deep breaths might be the first time you're really, really breathing and practicing that lung work this morning. So take some deep breaths as I um, find my place here in this Bible. So I'm reading from the book of Acts and in this first movement of listening, uh, we're going to keep using what I often do when I come on to be with you during this sacred listening are the stages that Julian of Norwich um, put into her body prayer. So we started with the sense of a weight. And the next part, I want you to listen for what God is calling you to allow, to allow into your open hands and heart. And perhaps you'll hear a strong message, um, perhaps not. But I want you to listen to the words um, with that intention of what is God calling you to allow into your life right now. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship and to the breaking of bread and prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number who were being saved. So just notice what God was calling you to allow with open heart, open hands in that scripture, in that text this morning. And now we move into this next movement as I read through it. The next movement calls you to notice what's being accepted, what's penetrating into your own self and your heart. 
what you're accepting as a word for you this day. What you need to hear and take in and carry with you. Sometimes the acts of this sacred listening uh, may not be clear or apparent in this very moment, these few minutes we spend together, but when we accept them, perhaps they go deeper and speak to us later in our day. A reading from Acts. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship and to the breaking of bread and prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. taking a breath or two to let it come into my own heart. Noticing what shimmers and shines for me. And now this last movement, this last listening, uh, calls me to notice and attend to what the scripture has to say about my place in the world, what we need to attend to, what we're called on to attend to, what shimmers and shines, what it feels like to follow the word of God even now today, so many years after these words were written. So as you listen this last time, notice what God is calling you to attend to in the world even as you may not physically be leaving your homes the way you have before, notice how God still is using your hands and your heart, your work and your mind, calling on you to attend to the work, attend to the grace received, attend to the people around you. What is God calling you to attend to? As you listen, let the words shimmer and shine. A reading from the book of Acts. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship and to the breaking of bread and prayers. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute them all to any as any had need. Day by day, as they spent much time together in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the good will of all people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. <laughs> Thank you for this time this morning as we have attended to scripture in this way, as we have noticed the sacred writing and the sacred listening that is asked of us. And I pray that you notice feathers along your way and that those feathers remind you that we are but a feather on the breath of God. Blessings.